Good morning and welcome back to another vlog. Clearly just woke up. I still look like I'm half asleep. I'm gonna, I changed because I wanna go to the gym with Dennis and I'm gonna do the 12, 3.30 on the, on the treadmill. Oh, we got a coffee delivery. Mm. Thank you. It's kind of light though. Is I, it? I pushed the second time the button to get a little bit more water. I kind of made it light, but mm. it's yeah, still it's good, good though. I'm gonna drink my water and I'm gonna start my book, which I'm really excited about. And I'm gonna read for a little bit. Dennis is getting his stuff together for the gym. So while he does that, I'm gonna start reading my book. And I'm excited because you guys know I am a fan of Colleen Hoover. I've loved all her books. There's some books that are better than others, but they're all good. Um, so I'm excited to get back into like my little Colleen Hoover kick. So, yeah. I took a quick break from reading uh, to do a quick 10 minute yoga stretch. I've been do doing this 10 minute yoga stretch um, since the beginning of this year. I really like uh, this instructor. Her name is uh, Cassandra. Her YouTube channel is Yoga with Cassandra, but I'll link the one that I do every morning. It's a 10 minute stretch. feels amazing. You instantly feel your body so much lighter and less tense when you're done with this stretch. And it's 10 minutes. Um, it feels so good and yeah, so I just took a quick little break from reading to do my yoga stretch I, I literally just look up yoga for beginners um, And hers came up when the first time I did it and I really liked her so she also has like morning affirmations Evening affirmations. She has a lot of cool videos. So I'll link her if you guys are looking to do some yoga But i um, still waiting on Dennis. So now that I did my body stretch, I'm gonna keep reading and Keep drinking my water I love this bottle. I got it at the Neutrogena event. I don't know what brand it is, um, but if I can find it, I'll link it for you guys. Made it to the gym. I brought my book. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to read and walk at the same time. Um, I'm doing the 12, 3.30. I don't know if I told you guys, but let's see. Ooh, she's been going at it. Good job, wifey. Yeah. <laughs> Here, let me turn the music up. Okay, so I did the 12, 3.30. It says I walked a mile and a half, burned 274 calories, and I did it for 30 minutes. It disappeared already, but I am sweating, sweating, like, oh, it's so dark, drenched. My hands, we're done, right? Yeah. I'm gonna wash my hands. I am still tomato face. Still sweating. Not as, not as much though. No? Mm, it cooled down. I think it's just because I can see. We came to get some breakfast and then heading home to start our work day, but we need to eat. So let's go eat. Just ordered my matcha, my strawberry matcha latte, which I'm so excited about. I know some people don't like it. I love it. I had it, had it once. It's like a very subtle strawberry taste, but it tastes so good. Ooh, what do they put in it? Lime? Lemon? What? Look, look at the cup. Lemon and mint. Oh yeah, those are the like the juices. Alright, so she got it. A little mixy good. mix. Mm. Tastes so good. Is it? Yeah? yeah? I feel like you still gotta mix it to the bottom. Yeah, because it tastes just like strawberry bacon. So what is it? Just strawberry and matcha? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. and tuna poke bowls. I'm just gonna let it go in the fridge. Let the cucumber in there. I made some rice. Obviously, like, you're supposed to make maybe different type of rice, but just working with what I have, and it's gonna be delicious. Whoop! There it is. I'll show it to you guys once I have it all made. My brother even bought furikake, which is like a seasoning, um, seaweed. There's other things in here, so. We're about to have a delicious meal, and I have been going at it in my studio. Let me show you guys. This place is coming apart slowly, so I am clearing and going through a lot of my makeup. The studio is something that I have been wanting to work on for a while now, so I'm just happy that we're finally getting to that. And once it's done, it's going to feel so nice because I feel like that space, 
I've always avoided that space just because it's so cluttered. There's so much stuff in there and I just want to get rid of a lot of stuff. All I have to say is that it looks like we ordered it from somewhere. I did try. What did you give me earlier? Uh, it was one of these pieces that was so is. delicious. Or that one. Salmon, right? Uh, tuna. Tuna. Wow. I love the plating. Can't wait. Odie, what about you? Huh? Odie? What about you? What about, oh, what about Benji? Hmm? What are you guys gonna have? What do you guys, you guys are having fish too. You guys are having fish too. All right, we're gonna feed them in about an hour. And uh, what are we gonna watch? Oh, we're watching the show. Yeah, we're watching, we're watching Echoes. I don't know if you guys are, have watched that or are watching it. Um, it seems good, I guess. It's so dark, why does the camera look so dark? Okay. I'll vlog after I eat, because I'm starving right now. All right, let's eat. Honestly, not to blow my own horn, but these Poke Bowls look legit. So, let me move that cucumber. Let me show you guys what I ended up adding. So I added kimchi, bean sprouts, edamame, uh, salmon, and I marinated it with a little bit of sesame oil, sriracha. Oh, I think you guys saw that part. Uh, cucumbers and tuna. The tuna, I only added sesame oil. This spicy, I mean, look at the mess after, but whatever. This little spicy oil from Mama Fuku. It's their chili crunch, which I love their their uh, their ramen. Every time we go to Vegas, we go to the restaurant. Um, so yeah, that's what we're having. It looks delicious. Let's hope it tastes as good as it looks. <laughs> the cat. There's a cat on TV making yeah, noises, that? and Otis yeah. thinks it's like. <laughs> I just got out of the shower. Oh my god. It felt so nice to finally shower, but I used um I got some new Charlotte Tilbury skincare the last time I went to their event. Um so since I've tried their makeup and I'm a huge fan of their makeup, I would say Charlotte Tilbury is probably one of my favorite makeup brands. So I'm like, why not try their skincare? And I literally have everything. So I cleansed with their goddess cleansing ritual. So they have two cleansers. This is the first one. This is a cleansing, kind of like a cleansing balm. And then their cleanser. So hard to read the back of these packages. But um, anyway, it says cleansing ritual one and then cleansing goddess ritual two. So I did that already in the shower. So now I'm going to go in with their magic serum. And can we like... Can we take a moment for this packaging? It's so pretty and so luxe. So like I said, I have never used their skincare. So I wanted to use all of the things that I got. I did, I do notice that my skin looks glowy after uh, cleansing it. I cleansed it in the shower. So now I'm going to go in with this serum. And this is their magic serum. And I just want to see how my skin is going to look in the morning. It's very rare that I use a skincare line like from beginning to end. I normally mix my skincare brands um, because I like certain things from different brands. So I don't know, maybe it'll be nice to see what my skin looks like using every single product. So like the cleanser, the serum, the moisturizer, there's even a lip balm, so like a lip oil. Okay, so I already let the serum kind of seep into the skin and it feels tacky so now i'm gonna go in with their magic night cream so again packaging is everything doesn't really oh oh wow this is like very thick which is nice you want your heaviest thickest products to oh my god this is like wow this feels almost oh my goodness this is <laughs> i've never used a night cream this thick i'm assuming that my skin when i wake up in the morning is going to be i don't know if you guys can see how glowy my skin looks but this is like probably the thickest night cream i've ever used um there's other ones that i have used but this feels almost like like a balm like a i don't even know how to explain it but it's very very thick I'm going to apply this all over my hands. We don't want anything to go to waste. Make sure when you guys apply your skincare, you also apply it on your hands because, you know, 
They say you can tell a woman's age by her hands and her neck. So don't forget the neck. So we got that and then now I'll link all these products for you guys as well in case you guys are interested in getting any of them. So far they all feel very nice on the skin. Now I'm going to do the magic lip oil and I love that it has like this little roller ball. Mm. Wow, I have a feeling my skin is going to look so good tomorrow, especially because of this night cream. I have never used a night cream this thick. Okay, what I didn't grab was um, an eye serum, and I know they did have one from Charlotte Tilbury, so we'll grab that next time. But I'm going to use my Fresh Black Tea Firming Serum. I'm just going to take a little bit of that and apply it to my under eye. All right, and that is everything for my skincare. So, or my nighttime skincare. Obviously, these are new products that I have not used before. This is my first time trying all of these products. Um, what I have been doing, though, like my actual everyday skincare routine, like night and day, I've been using the Tatcha, the Essence. I've been using that for years. Um, and then I've been going in with my tea elixir from Fresh. I love this. This really helps the skin for it to look hydrated and supple. Um, so I love this and then for my moisturizer. I have been using the water cream from Tatcha I used to use this all the time a few years ago and You know we I get so much different skincare. So I always switch it up and then I went back to that one. So That is my little skincare moment I will link everything that I mentioned in the box in the description box if you guys want to grab anything So now I'm just going to lay in bed. I actually just um, washed our sheets or I washed them earlier, but I just put the sheets on the bed. So I'm so excited that I'm going to be going to bed in some clean sheets. Nothing makes me happier. So I thought about, I think I'm going to read a little bit, but it just depends because my eyes already feel a little tired and it's really difficult for me to read at night. That's why I always get up early and I read. Um, but I've so far been loving the book. I think I'm like 40 pages in. So I've been loving it so far. I'm going to get up early tomorrow. Probably get up around 7 so that I can have an hour to read. And then I'm going to go to the gym and do um, another round of 12, 3.30. So I'm excited. I was telling Dennis that I'm really happy that I tried this out. Even though it's not easy, it's not like so hard for me to do that it's going to discourage me. Like one thing I hate about working out is when I feel like I want to throw up. That is like literally my worst nightmare. Um, a fun fact, every time I throw up, I cry. <laughs> Let me know if you guys are the same, but I literally, I, mean, I don't think there's anybody in the world that likes to throw up, but it's just the moment I feel like I'm going to throw up, I'm like, no. But anyway, so I feel really good about this workout. I feel like this is something that I'm going to enjoy along with my yoga. So I did a yoga stretch, as you guys saw in the morning, and then I went to do the 12 through 30. So I want to do the same thing tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me on this vlog. Uh, I tried a new recipe today. Well, not even a recipe. I just kind of like did my own thing with that Poke Bowl and it came out so good. I'm going to film a reel because I got, <laughs> I got a lot of DMs asking me how I did it, which is so, so easy. I honestly think that we overcomplicate cooking in our head. At least for me, I'm speaking for myself. I think that there's times that I overcomplicate. Like I think that things are much harder than they are. And then when I finally do them, I'm like, wow, that was so easy. But anyway, thank you so much, Mishiras. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and I'll see you guys in the next one.